Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here. Welcome back to Deus Ex Human Revolution. Uh, specifically, we're going to be in Hangsha. Uh, we have discovered the location of one of the GPLs. It's transmitting on a very low frequency, uh, which suggests that Vasily Sevchenko, one of uh, Megan's scientists, uh, is in the area. So we're going to go look for him. One thing I'm curious about, though, is that... Why now can we pick up... What the... Frig! Whoa! Oh, look! The augmented people. This guy's fine. Maser. This is insane. I I can't speak to you right now. You Something is wrong. Too, right? What? That guy just fell down. And was like, oh shit! That's insane. So, yeah, wow. Well, I don't know what the hell's going on. Might be new robbers in withdrawal. Please, sir, do you know what is happening? No, I don't. What the hell? What's going on? Oh, this must be the, uh, because they, they were tipped off or something that I'm coming here. I... Oh, did it hit you too? Oh, I thought I was going to die for a second. Give me a chance to recover. What the hell? Jensen, it's Pritchard. Have you been watching the news? Been a bit busy, Francis. Jensen, the World Health Organization is advising all augmented patients to check in with Lim. There's a problem with biochip technology. The glitches I've been experiencing. We've all had them. So far, I can't determine why. You heading to a clinic? I'm running a few more tests. But since I can't exactly run them on you, and we don't know when you'll be back, you might not want to wait. Up to you. Get a new biochip at the limb clinic. Well, okay, this is... Okay, I'm in the right spot. Actually, happen to remember where this one is. It's right around the corner. Look at this lineup, what? What? This is crazy. Okay, so anyways, I was trying to trying to finish my thought from the very beginning, is that I don't know why we can pick the signal up now. Um and we couldn't pick it up before. That's kind of making me wonder a little bit. One moment. Uh, you are not a harvester. We have had the occasional problem with them stealing from limb clinics. All right. Well, let's check out this new chip. I'm sorry. I don't want to talk right it now. It seems kind of I'm sketchy, so though. I'm so worried about this recall. You here for recall? There is problem with the peripheral nerve interface. We fixed with upgraded chip. You want it, yes? If it's just a simple yes or no, I'm. I think. I'll th yeah. I'm gonna think about it because I'm not sure if this I'll is something I it. want. Clinic is very busy, but if you want something else, we will service you. Seems a little bit sketchy. I am going to check out to see if they have Praxis, which they do. I'll also buy as much energy as I can. I don't have space, okay. And Typhoon, well, yeah, sure. There we go. You're very welcome, sir. Got Praxis kits coming out the you know what. I don't even know what to go into net yet. Maybe Rebreather? <laughs> Oh, I can sprint for quite a bit longer. That's actually pretty cool. Compared to, like, what else here? Stealth Enhancer. I, that seems really useless to me. These specifically are very useless, these hacking add-ons. Um, oh, leg augmentations. Sprint silently. Jump and land silently. I think I'm gonna do the sprint faster. Because I seem to cover a lot of ground. And I can sprint for longer periods if I do this. And that'll that'll put me at zero, so let's just do it. Now I'm a super sprinter. Uh, Mr. Jensen. Right? Whoa, why does this guy know me? These guys are all here to get that chip. I don't know, I just have a weird feeling about that. I have a really weird feeling about that. Maybe Sir. I can Sir? Could I borrow a minute of your time? Dr. Wing, okay. I am not mistaken. You are Mr. Jensen, right? That depends. Who's asking? I am sorry, Mr. Jensen. I am being impolite. My name is Wing Hui. I am a doctor here. I can see hey, that. Wing. 
What I really meant to ask is, how do you know who I am? Yes, yes, of course. Excuse me, for I am a bit nervous. Bell Tower agents were here a while ago, looking for a man who fits your description. When I heard what they were saying of you, it occurred to me that you might be exactly the person I need. Uh, that's probably why that guard got all weird when I uh, walked up to that area earlier. Need for what, exactly? Tread carefully, Doc, because I'm about one step away from losing my patience here. No, <laughs> please, you misunderstand. I only wish to talk to you about something, and it is not an easy subject to discuss as it is a rather sensitive matter. Truly, Mr. Jensen, I would never force anyone to do something against their will. On that, you have my word. Glad to hear it. So what's this all about then? I... I'm afraid I won't be able to go into very much details. Not before I know you are really willing to help. But I need someone to help me to stop a very dangerous augmented soldier, and possibly his squad mates. If everything Bell Tower said of you is true, then you would seem the good fit for this job. Interesting. Fine, I'll do it. Just tell me more. Thank you. Now please, understand that I am to give you sensitive information on multiple parties. You can count on my discretion, hammer it out, Doc. Uh, yeah, big time. You'd be surprised by the amount of sensitive information that gets tossed my way on a daily basis. I haven't misused any of it. Yet. Yet? Mr. Jensen, please. Do not make light of this matter. Bell Tower is... Well, you know their role in this city. But what you do not know is that they often contract limb specialists to operate in private. On special projects. What kind of special projects? What you Americans call black operations. Bell Tower selects some of their best soldiers and make them to be super augmented with experimental, top-secret hardware. Okay. Not to sound too jaded, Doc. But none of that comes as a big surprise. Stuff like that's been going on for years. Yes. Your government and mine have both been guilty of this practice, I am sure. But Bell Tower is not a government. They are a private corporation. A private army on sale to the highest bidder. Is this about stopping Bell Tower, then? Because as much as I might hate them right now, I'm only one man. No, no. It is not all of Bell Tower I need help with. It is just one of their covert operatives, a man named Michael Zelazny. He was implanted with experimental hardware and to an extent that is way beyond legal regulations. I am ashamed to say I have operated on him myself, and he has been used in countless secret operations for the Chinese and others. So you want me to hunt him down basically? I get it, he's a badass. <laughs> quite, Mr. Jensen, quite. Rumor has it that Mr. Zelazny and his unit have gone rogue about a month ago. Two weeks later, a city official was assassinated. I am certain they are involved. And then, a few days ago, Mr. Zelazny contacted me. He needed urgent help with one of his squad mates' augmentations. I take it you said you would help. They sent me to the back store of a meat shop near Pandang Road, in the Yutsao district. There, I performed emergency repairs on one of the agent's augs, a servo replacement. I believe this back store is their hideout, Mr. Jensen. You must go there and make Mr. Zelazny hear reason. Uh, yeah, I'm sure that'll be fine. Nothing can go yeah. wrong. Yeah, I mean, what are super augmented killing machines known for, if not their unmatched love for dialogue? I'm sure nothing could go wrong. Do not be too eager to dismiss the possibility of speaking to him, Mr. Jensen. Mr. Zelazny is a soldier, not a maniac. Your own unique situation will no doubt resonate with him. But if things do turn sour and he must be terminated, I think you are a good candidate to get it done. Or at least, survive. <laughs> Sounds promising. Now, I'm going to go into the back here, see if I can find anything out about this new chip that they want to put into our faces. I don't like that idea, and if I don't have to do it, I'm not doing it because it just sounds sketchy. And those little blips, they don't seem to really impact me. I don't know, something's just sketchy. And if it's impacting like everybody, something's wrong. All right, so now I'm gonna go look for this, uh, what's the guy's name? 
Zelazny. So he's in a butcher shop, apparently. I'm gonna go see if I can find this butcher shop. See if I can find this Zelazny and make him talk. Returning to tonight's biggest story. Now, I don't know. The organization today issued an unprecedented recall on augmentation technology. There we go. Should be here. Shit. Temporary malfunctions and electrostatic disturbances have been flooding in from around the globe. Peekaboo. Duclair, spokeswoman for the WHO, confirmed that the cause of these disruptions. Am I gonna have to dodge a whole bunch of these guards? In the multi-channel peripheral nerve biochip. There we go. A device which. Running. Some of those people in line. Oh yeah, I can seriously sprint right now. Look how long that lasts. That's what she said. Okay, we're gonna take the train to the Yuzao. Make dreams come true here for Mr. Zelazny. I'm sure I'm not really in his dreams, more like a freaking nightmare. Hello. All right. Mr. Jensen. Hugh Darrow oh, here. Mr. Darrow. Please forgive this intrusion, but David assured me of your cooperation and discretion. I find okay. myself in need of some assistance. I'm listening. A contact of mine, Meng Yao, is in Hengsha, waiting to fill you in. I'll upload her coordinates now. Meet Darrow's contact. All right. Well, first of all, I got some other business to take care of. So you're just going to have to wait, Mr. Darrow. I mean, you're probably not used to that, but... Yes, I've been there. Jeez. Ooh, this is some... This is some back door of the butcher shop here. Oh, looks like we might be a little bit late. Find information on Zelazny's current whereabouts. Let's check the safe. Oh, did I just nuke that? I think I just nuked that thing. It's okay. I have 57 I others to spread. spare. Oh, hi there. $404. Uh, I don't know if that's like a joke because he's not here and it's like a 404 not found again. Pocket secretary. Read the dead agent's pocket secretary. Zelazny feels this location is no longer secure. He's planning to move down below. Overheard some of the team talking about a safe spot in the sewers. The situation is getting tense. I'm afraid they're on to me. I caught one of them poking through my shit. When can you move in and take these guys down? We need to get me out of there. FF. Okay. So he's in the sewer then. This guy. Why isn't it updating that? That's really interesting. Well, okay, I mean, whatever. I guess we'll just look in the sewers and try to find this guy. Next thing we'll do is go and meet uh, Daryl's contact. It's interesting that I don't get an update on which sewer I need to go to, but perhaps I just need to be diligent and look for them. I remember this wall a long time ago that we did not punch through. And I kind of don't want to punch through it again and waste a whole thing. But, uh, it doesn't appear I have an easier way to go. Unless I can jump up top here. Not even close. I never thought that I would actually be worried about running out of energy cells, but... It appears that, uh, that is quite possible. As they say. Oh, he's as good as they say, Meng Yao. Mr. Jensen, right? Thank you for your time. I am Meng Yao, an associate of Mr. Darrow's. I'm in charge of one of his divisions here in Hengsha. You come highly recommended. Really? Your boss described you as a most precious asset. Apparently, you are very efficient and always get the job done. We could definitely use a man like you for this operation. Interesting. What operation? We need you to help us stop a group of terrorists who are threatening the Panchea project. Are you up to it? 
Um, yeah, Terrace. It's me, Jensen. I'll do okay, anything. Okay, I'll help out. Excellent. Money. Here's the situation. It has come to our attention that these terrorists possess highly classified proprietary information about Panchea. We've been able to convince them to sell it to one of our agents, a man named Lofei. The meeting is supposed to take place near the Alice Garden Pods in the Daigong District. And you want me to crash this meeting? Actually, there will not be a meeting. We are sending you alone to ensure Mr. Fei's safety. The terrorists will not be expecting that, and will have the information with them on a data chip. You have to neutralize all of the sellers and retrieve the chip so you can bring it to me. I don't get it. If Fei set up the meeting, why risk sending me in his stead? Why doesn't he or even some of your other agents drop in on the sellers and take the chip? Because Mr. Darrow wants an absolute guarantee that there will be no casualties. We will not play by their rules. We want them arrested and questioned, then properly prosecuted and sentenced. This will require stealth and efficiency. That's why a man with your particular skills will be indispensable. Sounds like a job for Jinten. Anything else? Anything there else always is. Know. The sellers are expecting Mr. Fei and Mr. Fei alone. If they spot you, they will shoot on sight. Need I point out this might make your job a lot harder? Story of my life. <laughs> okay, well, uh, we will go to the meeting location. Alice Garden Pods, I guess. I'm actually kind of excited to do this totally stealth mode. Hello, everyone. Ah, oh, not good. It's not where I want to be. Anyways, let's see if I can sell some stuff. You see what I got? I'm not sure what I'm all carrying, even. It's a lot of guns. That's one thing I know. Pistol ammo I kind of need. Combat rifle can sell that. Everything else I kind of need. Concussion. Eh, yeah. Frag mines. Let's get rid of those. They take up a lot of space. And let's see what he has. I like the gas grenades. I'll take another one. Peps pack. Burst round. What does this go on? Ooh, shotgun. That would be kind of fun, but... It's a little bit noisy for me. All right, we're good. Yeah, I will be right here. Yeah, you uh, you just wait there, pal. Oh shit! Oh, my yeah. Well, shit. Oh damn it! <laughs> no more selling stuff, I guess. I don't. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think that, that would blow up, but I just, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Shit. Blew up my dealer. Breaking Bad has taught me anything. That is one thing you don't do. Whoa. Oh no, these guys are cool. The rumor has it that Hugh Darrow is going to hold some sort of surprise UN summit in Panchea. Really? What he's gonna say. All I know. Oh, nope. That was Bell Tower, okay. Hey, hey, I know you. What? You're the one Bell Tower is looking for. I seen your picture. You got the wrong guy. What's it worth to you for me to think so? Oh, shit. It's a simple thing for me to yell out. Maybe a few credits to keep my mouth shut, huh? Ah. Uh. How about I find some other way to keep it shut? Permanently. That... that won't be necessary. I see now that you're much <laughs> taller than the man they're looking for. Yeah. I thought you might see things that way. Now move it. So I pretty much have to, like... Stealth throughout this entire city now. Which does not make my job very easy. I also have to remember... Ooh, 